Okay, here I want to just make a quick tutorial on how to install the Hot for Maya Ocean Script. This is just for newbies that are coming in uh, that was like me. I'm a newbie to this and I wanted to um, create this little rolling wave pattern and I thought I might be able to save some people some trouble just by making a quick tutorial and to show uh, me how I do it in case I actually forget. So um, what you got to do first is you've got to go to this Houdini Ocean Toolkit and you just find that just by typing in I uh, literally type in um, or Ocean Toolkit Maya and you'll see this Nico one right here, okay? So that's it right there. And I'll take you right to that page, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the uh, RAR file and so it's hot ocean underscore Maya. I saved it as hot ocean underscore Maya 2. So I'm not gonna download it again, I unzipped it and where is it there it is right there okay so let me close all this down a little bit and i'll show you what i did so i have my unzip file right there and what you're going to see is in the thing you just downloaded here's the release so a little zip unzip and then the deformer is where you want to go and then you choose your version so this is 2016 extension 2 that's what i happen to be running here um, so here's this extension 2, service pack 1, and the 2016 though will work for the other versions of, um, of uh, Maya. So what you need to do is you need to, you need to move this file and whatever version of the operating system you're working on this file to the appropriate places. Well it says right in uh, here, right here, what goes where. So it tells you to copy the .mll folder to your Maya bin plugins folder and then uh, copy the um, this mel file over to here. So that's all I did. So you'll see here that here is my plugins folder. So I go to the C drive, program files, Autodesk, Maya 2016.5, which is this extension 2 thing, uh, bin, plugins, and then I paste in the hot ocean deformer, which is this right there. Okay, so that's the deformer, so that allows you to, to deform it. And then the script, um, a little more confused what that does, but I copied that too, and that goes into this location where you'll just go to the Maya folder in your doc documents directory. And and then in Maya's, obviously, you know, I've got 2016 and a, a 2016.5 here. This is the extension too. So I go into there, go into scripts, and then I copied that mel file there so it's this one right here I just copied and then put in here and then I started Maya and in order to get this so a couple things I'll just um, start this over here and I, I wrote down the numbers that I use for this but what you do is start with a new scene and just go make sure you have the plugins loaded so you're gonna go to Windows settings plugin manager and here you're gonna scroll down to so here's the top you scroll down to Hot Ocean Deformer, make sure it's loaded and auto load. And then um, and then that's it. And if, if those if those if you don't see this here, then you did not copy the file over to the uh, plugins directory properly. Um, and then I had a problem here too where I um, I copied the wrong version over and then that didn't work either. So uh, it wouldn't let me click load. It's just saying there was an error. So if you do the wrong thing and these aren't showing up like this, you did something wrong. Uh, but that's that. I hit close, so I know it's there. And what I did for those for those settings, I'm going to show you here. I just made a simple plane, and then go over to the channel box editor, okay? And you click on the inputs here. They, they don't not showing up automatically in this version of um, Maya. I don't know why, but anyway, for a width, I used 20, oops, 20, 20, 80, and 80, and that was enough geometry for what I'm just doing with this little demo here and what I'm going to play with with in terms of um, Bifrost and so now I got to do is I got to apply the plugin so when you go here it tells you what to do it says this is what you run right there so I'm just going to copy that and I can do it right from here or I can do it right from if I click that little button there this will pop up so either way I just tend to do it right from here because it's faster so I Control paste there, control V, and hit enter. And now I've got some 
deformations on that plane. So I don't really like this, it's not real useful. By the way, the other thing it's nice to do too is make sure that as you click that little guy that it'll bring up the preferences and the time slider, you want this to playback speed in real time. And I'm just doing it at 24 frames per second here. I don't even know how you get to 30 frames per second unless you just do other and then type it in. Must be it. But 24 frames per second was enough for me just to kind of, I'm just playing around with this. And so when you actually play, it doesn't go so fast. Otherwise it zips through these. I'm going to extend this slider over here too, so I get more geometry. Okay, so I got 200 frames to look at this with. So this is a nice little pattern, a little bit boring. So some numbers that I found for this size of plane that work pretty good are right here. So what you got to do is you got to make sure that the plane is selected, and then you go into um, the attribute editor. So you click there. And if that isn't showing, is that right here? Let's see, yeah, show height attribute editor. So if these aren't showing up over here, you, you, you can, there's five different things you can have over here. Right now I only have the two, this one and this one. But the attribute editor is what you want. So if you don't see that, make sure you click this and then the attribute editor will show up, okay? So within the attribute editor, you kind of use these little arrows or use your scroll, your mouse wheel to find this, hot ocean deformer. and then what you do is type in these values that I'm giving you right here. And what I'm going to do is just shrink Maya down a little bit so I can just have these side by side. And so global global scale, I'm just going to put that to 0.397, 6, size 60, 15, 2, 0.01, points, a lot of these aren't changed, 0.5, 2, 200. And that's good right there. That the time is automatically in the script associated now with the timeline. So now when I hit play, I get much cooler waves. So this should be rather neat here. Uh, once I start getting some a tank in here and I want to play around with that. And you'll see that it jumps from frame 200 all the way back to one. So if, if you wanted more length, you obviously just increase the frame. Isn't that neat though? So that's how you do it, and that's how you get this nice little uh, deformation model. And the way it looks like what's happening in Maya Extension 2 is they're allowing you to use a plane as a, um, not a not a deformer, but it's, um, yeah, whatever they call it. It's This is going to make the particle moves, particles move. I can never remember the name of it, but you will. And that's what I'm going to use it for, and it looks pretty neat how that uh, is going to look. And so anyway, I hope that helps someone uh, get this whole thing up and running.